the morning of the day, um, it is time to decorate for autumn. And I'm doing it a little bit early this year. Usually, I wait until um, the autumn equinox. Um, well, before I used to wait until October to celebrate spooky season, Halloween. So October 1st was the day for that. And then I lived in Japan for two years and they had autumn equinox. And so I kind of started celebrating fall then. Well, because I come from Florida, so we don't really get fall. So when I lived in Japan though, I did get fall. So that's when I started celebrating fall at the autumn equinox, which is official fall. But it's been an awful year and a half. I don't even know how long it's been, but like, you know, 2020, holiday season, stuck inside, only seeing people over Zoom. I just, I need to celebrate, I need to win. It is time to get crisp. It is time to get absolutely spoopy. All right, let's do this. Oh, and by the way, yes, I'm doing this on selfie mode, so the quality isn't best. Yes, I just woke up, and yes, the lighting isn't best because I usually wait until the latter half of the day because I have a western facing window. So right now there's not a lot of lights. Uh, I don't care. I might do a proper outro later with a proper camera setup and everything. But right now, this is what you're getting. It's time to decorate. All right. All right. So we're in my bedroom. Um, there is a window over here that does get eastern light. So don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Um, but anyway, we're about to go into my closet and, um, it's always really fun to take out the box because every year around I pack it up. Often I will buy a few items from the clearance rack for the season. I never buy anything at the start of the season, always the end on clearance, 90% off or minimum 75% off. Um, but so I kind of forget what I have and it's always like a big surprise to be like, yay, this is what I have. And it's fun. So. Here we go. By the way, I still have a little bit of bed head, but I got out of my pajamas and just want you to check out my my outfit for the season. All right, I brought in these chairs and I took out the boxes and we are ready to open them. Oh, by the way, I put on a headband to keep at least some of my crazy hair back. Uh, it is the Marauders map, so really on theme here. <laughs> So, usually when I am opening this up, I have my Halloween playlist on or my autumn playlist and I'm just ready for like a really good time to get hype. Um, but because YouTube doesn't know how to have fun anymore, I can't play it for the video. But also, um, there's construction happening on my patio today. They were supposed to come earlier, but they came now, so. Okay, all right. <laughs> all this uh, fabric, Halloween fabric left over. Oh, okay. I have these napkins for a Halloween party that I got at um, clearance in 2019. Uh, so that didn't happen. Oh my God, oh my Halloween clothes. I have Halloween uh, leggings. I have a jack-o'-lantern shirt. I have just this giant bright orange men's t-shirt that I wear as like, a like dress shirt pajama during Halloween season. Ooh, okay, very useful. I made this last year and it is a mask. So on this side, it is pumpkins. And on this side, it is the fabric that we saw earlier. So um, I can wear this when it's Halloween, but when it's not Halloween anymore, I can still wear this for the rest of autumn and it's very um, seasonal. There we go, very useful. Halloween tinsel garland. There's nothing on this. this in Japan. Um, ooh, okay. It has all my Halloween like jewelry. So these are little hats whose eyes glow in the dark. Can you see it? I'm gonna come way close. Um, and they're in pumpkins. Oh my God. I I'll do a zoom in on this later because this can't be seen this far away. Ooh, okay. I have Bernie Butts, <laughs> beans, every flavor beans, just a little packet of it. I have candy corn socks. It's a lot of clothing. 
And in the clothing is wrapped some glass stuff. <gasps> my pumpkin. <laughs> Do you want to like see each and everything? I can always just film it and then if I decide it's boring, I'll just edit it out later. Or I can just have this be a long video. Leggings. All right, let's move on. Trick or treat mug. Hello Kitty for Halloween. And then you're like, open it up and it's like, Kitty cat. All right. <gasps> yes. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. These are pumpkin spice soy candles from the Dollar Tree that I bought last year. And they smell so freaking good. And they're so cute in this little jar. Like you can reuse it later, but like you can also just close it up. They're like tiny so you can put them anywhere. I think they, I saw them still selling it this year. It, you know, it depends on your store, but these are like the best. These are like my favorite. I'm like legit, like not buying any other pumpkin scented anything. Like these are the best. All right, can't wait to burn that. <gasps> yes. Right. This is my pumpkin trash can. Look, he's wearing a tuxedo. Ah! He's my favorite. I shouldn't scream. If people were here on the patio, they're gonna think something's wrong. <laughs> it's my squishy pumpkin backpack that I bought in Japan. Ah! Okay, all right. Uh, and then there's stuff in him. Oh God, yes. Okay, so these are like smaller items. Let me like, <laughs> let me come in front of the camera. All right, so these are pumpkin glasses that you can put um, uh, glow sticks in them for it to glow. I have this light and you put a little cap on top of it that has different types of shadows. So this one is a jack-o'-lantern, but it comes with an entire set of different stuff. Pez dispenser. I have all these like jelly <laughs> bracelets that like don't fit me anymore. I got these when I was like, God, like 16, I think. Like I could squeeze them over my hand, but they are a pain in the butt to get on and off. Cause like, obviously like I'm older now. <laughs> oh, but there's a way to put them on where like you, you put them over one another like that. Oh my God. These used to be like the shiz when I was like 17. I think all the way up until like I was like 18 and a half. These were like the cool thing. And they were like, you had a bunch of these and there was a whole bunch of different ways to wear them. Oh my cousin taught them to me. I can't remember. Okay, stick on. Nails. Ah! Oh my God, my little spooky ghost. This is like one of those like fused bead art things that I made. Good witch, bad witch. Now, uh, I do cash wallets for budgets. So usually what I'll do is for special seasons, I will set aside a certain amount of money that it's okay to spend for that year, that season for whatever, and I'll take it out in cash. And that way, anytime I wanna buy anything, I can literally look in and be like, okay, this is how much cash I have left. And it's like, it's impossible to spend over that. You know, if you're being responsible, unless you're just like, ah, why my credit card? And like, you know, throw away the receipt and trick myself but you can trick your bank account but so that's what this is oh and inside it's little stick on nail art stuff for halloween oh my god okay this is little pokemon clips halloween clips that i got in japan from the pokemon center bat hair pins more pokemon it's cinnamon roll oh i love cinnamon roll <laughs> and he, he's all ready for halloween little clips that i got so it was a reward prize from um, 31 Ice Cream in Japan, which is what they call Baskin Robbins over there. Halloween Darth Vader. And then this pin, which says uh, pumpkin spice for life. Now, actually, I don't like pumpkin spice that much as other people do. Uh, I like, I do like pumpkin. I like pumpkin pie. The fake pumpkin spice flavor that is in everything, it, it just, I don't like it. It's not very good. That's my, that's my hot seat. <laughs> Which is perfect because it is autumn. All right, that is it for what's in my bag. Oh my God, I love him. I love him. Stop yelling, there are people outside. All right, I really need to stop yelling, there are people outside. Next, there is this jack-o'-lantern and there's a candle holder. Um, This is really fun <laughs> because I have like um, a candelabra that I use for Shabbat. And then during spooky season, I, I switched to using this for Shabbat. And I don't know if anyone would take offense to that because I feel like it's only Christians that really dislike Halloween, but I, I don't know if there's any like Orthodox 
Jewish people have a huge issue with that. But that's their problem. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so now we're coming to food stuff. So I have this little pumpkin cookie cutter. I have this little kitty pumpkin plate. I know it's a kitty plate, but like, I don't eat that much in a meal. Like, I used to bring this to work for COVID and I would just like put my lunch on this because this is like a really full lunch for me. I do not eat a big lunch. And people are like, oh my God, that's so cute. And it's like, yeah, I really need to enjoy the season. Big tray. Oh, big tray. <laughs> and then we have a little milk bottle with a pumpkin that is a little broken, but it is what it is. Then we have these happy Halloween pumpkin cups. We have pumpkin. It's an ice tray mold. Or I guess you can use it for maybe like chocolate or something, but I use it for ice. My pumpkin cozy. Okay, gotta be careful with this one. These are the uh, jack-o'-lantern carving materials. So carefully put that aside. Ooh, okay, yes, yes, yes. My uh, spooky wine glass. I actually don't put wine in it. I just um, put ginger ale or whatever I'm drinking. Probably this year, Dr. Pepper. So perfect. I have this which I got like for a costume. I wanted to bring um, Chicha Morada to a party to pour it into drinks. It was so funny because I would take this out and people were like, is something in it? And I was like, yeah, and I'll take it out and pour it into my glass. I'm like, you don't have alcohol here. Or some people will be like, can I have some? And it's like, it's just purple corn juice. All right, I have my Halloween garland. And then here is the other garland that goes outside. These are pumpkins. And if you didn't see, this is bats. <laughs> I have a trick-or-treat bag that's a pumpkin and inside is a bunch of stuff. <gasps> okay, yes. All right, so these are all my fabric. So I have this burlap, I have this caution tape, some ribbon, and then I have some scrap fabric that I think I made a mask, a face mask in this. Or maybe I was going to and I didn't. Well, we'll find out when we finish this box. Okay, and then last of all, there are two more ribbons in here. And then this is, so, okay, I got these in Japan and what they are is it's a little sort of like handkerchief that you put down on your table and then you put your food onto it when you're like eating lunch or whatever. So that's what these are. And I just use them sort of like a decoration. I put them on like tables or whatever. Um, and it just, it makes it really festive. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. So these are my light up sweaters. So this one, ghouls night out. And then it's this one says hanging out tonight. And they light up. They have uh, a little like battery pack on them. Love them. <gasps> okay. All right. Okay. I yeah. I know we're like really like Potter themed right now, but I love the otters. I love that phrase so much. Okay. I have a sweater that I bought when I lived in a place with actual autumn, um, and I actually wore this to go apple picking. And it says the same thing as my shirt. I solemnly swear I am up to no good. We are getting down to the bottom. <laughs> Okay, now we have more clothes, which love it. Oh, pajamas! Okay, these are my pajamas. This is beautiful. Got that. Okay, this is supposed to be a solar-powered pumpkin. I have I've never gotten this to work. This is not secondhand. I got this at Dollar Tree. I don't trust Dollar Tree solar powered anything. I know there's like a bunch of hacks online for so like what to do with it, but like it's never worked. So more tights, tights, Halloween t-shirt, Halloween socks. Over the knee Halloween socks, t-shirt, mini scarf, t-shirt, over the knee Halloween socks, mini scarf, Halloween ankle socks. Clearly, there's a way I like to dress in Halloween. I mean, theme t-shirts, tights, theme t-shirt, matching tights. This next thing I'm super proud about uh, because I've wanted this for a while and I just made it myself. This is a Janko Lantern container. Now, this is a recycled container, so I painted this myself and I put a seal over it. Basically, I fill this with cheese balls <laughs> and it looks like a jack-o'-lantern. And I eat cheese balls every spooky season. That's kind of like my thing. I fill this up with cheese balls. I like leave the cap a little bit loose just to let them air out a little bit because I like them just, just the tiniest bit stale. Um, <laughs> and then I will take this out for movie night and eat these while watching a horror movie. So I have like my food stuff in a container in the kitchen and then like the other container that you saw, the little like case. And that's more like generic autumn stuff, especially for Turkey Day. Let's continue with this box though. All right, so I have this. 
which I think it holds a tea light, but I think it also holds sort of like, like utensils or something from it. It's like party serving stuff. Okay, so this witch I actually got from Dollar Tree and it, it actually works. So you turn it on and it has a sensor and anytime anyone moves in front of it, it'll go <laughs> like a witch's laugh. Um, <laughs> but this is for like trick or treaters to come and like be like <laughs> Ooh, okay, so we're gonna finish with costumes and then it's like decor and like food stuff like party supplies, which like did not happen. Again, I bought these party supplies at the end of the 2019 season and thinking I'm gonna have a big party next year. I'm finally gonna do it. Have my own Halloween party in 2020, baby. All right, so these are clip-on hats. Got this one and I got this one. So this is a light. Ooh. This is a light that you can put inside of a jack-o'-lantern instead of a candle. So it just kind of stays on. <laughs> All right. Big pumpkin cookie cutter. Bat cookie cutter. These are jack-o'-lantern toothpicks to put inside of a cupcake or something. Halloween cupcake holders. Sprinkles. 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 Cupcake holders. Cupcake holders with sprinkles. And the last thing we have is these little jack-o'-lantern little mochi gummy toys. Oh, I dropped it. They are. We have a jack-o'-lantern trick-or-treating basket. We have two trick-or-treating baskets for candy to give away. We have our chair slip covers. You put this on the back of a chair to make it spooky. Oh my God, okay. Does it fit? Give me a second. I tried to put it on the back. The chair's behind me, but they're too big, but the other chairs I have out there, they will fit for it, so that's where it's going. All right, we are almost done. Okay, decoration. We have like window clings. That fell. We have window clings. We have this backpack that I got from Japan full of decorations. <gasps> okay, so this is a Halloween treat kit uh, for a party. So, oh my God, if I can get the shine away. So you put like the treats in here and it sort of has like a, a little garland or whatnot. Once again, Party supplies for a party that did not happen. Treat bags for a party. Stickers! Halloween stickers. A little mini jack-o'-lantern bag. And then a bunch of Halloween gummy gel clings that I'm gonna put on my glass mirror in the bathroom. That's what I usually do. And then some on the window. All right, the last thing in this is a sign. Proceed with candy. Bummer. So I put this out when I don't have any more candy for the night, which has never happened because I've never lived in a place that had trick or treaters. All right, empty. <laughs> now it's time to open the little box and um, check out the kitchen for all the treats that I've been saving. All right, I'm just going to open it over here. Ta -da. All right, so this is what I meant. This is more for a feast. I got plates, plates. This is a craft that I made. <laughs> gel clings, but just like generic autumn gel clings. Ooh, okay, so there's my other mask. Okay, another mask. So this is just generic autumn mask, nice. Uh, napkins, this is like centerpiece filler, it's like twine. It was actually left over from like 2018 Thanksgiving for like a little craft for like kids. Then this like cut out cookie roller. Again, I love like red wall stuff. So that's why I bought this ribbon. We have the leftover fabric that didn't get used for the mask. This is the give thanks sign. <laughs> and then this is some stickers inside of the thing that has the pilgrim. This is a popcorn holder, so love that. This is for snacks. We have all these uh, cookie cutters and stuff, but I use this to cut out um, pie dough rolled out and like decorate the top of a pie. And then here's a bunch of, you know, turkey making supplies. That's like the recipe and ingredients that I need. Here's more napkins and then supplies for playing around. All right, so that's what's in this box. In the cabinet shelf behind there on top of the fridge is where I have like supplies that I've gotten, food supplies for the season. All right, 
So these are the Dollar Tree cheese balls that'll go inside of the container that I was talking about. I love these. And then I have this tea that I've been saving. I got it as a gift. It is caramel apple tree. Love it. So these are coming out. Yes, I do have a lot of tea. <laughs> I'm a tea lover. Okay, so I know I don't usually remember everything I have, but I like, I remember like the gist of it. And I know that I have sort of autumn soup mugs and bowls and I didn't find them here. And then I remembered that this thing got really full, but I have three Christmas boxes. And I remembered that one of them didn't get full all the way. And so I put some of the leftover stuff in there. So I'm gonna take that out and, and grab the stuff and see what I have. I was right, here it is. Okay, all right. Okay, so we have a placemat. Welcome fall with the squirrel, so red wall. Let's see. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, <gasps> yes, yes, I was right. Okay, so here's like hand towels, kitchen towels. Okay, it's a mug. It's just a mug. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, mom mittens and towels. Okay, pot holders. Ooh, I'll be drinking coffee in you. Okay, so I think these bags are the last thing, and I can't unwrap them while I'm here. So. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so I was right. I, there are my mugs. So only one soup mug, and then I have two other mugs, and then this is my husband's mug. <laughs> All right, it is time to actually put this stuff up and decorate. Taking a break from decorating to have lunch and watch a very Potter musical. Is it like actually obnoxious at this point? <laughs> Last of all, I said I'd show you all the stuff that was inside of here. So we have some hair ties, we got a couple pins, and then we have these two sets of earrings. That's it. It's Halloween, 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 Halloween. <laughs> All right. <laughs> because so much stuff happened after I finished filming the decoration. And I am just here to say that, yes, it's still not a proper setup, but either way, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it helped you get into the mood. I know that every autumn, I like to look at other people decorating and other people doing stuff because as someone who lives in a place that doesn't have a proper autumn, um, it helps me get in the mood. So I hope you had fun. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll be here next time for the Hunter's Moon in October. Until next time, bye!